Hello. In this lesson, we will learn how to write in cursive two Russian letters, U and N. So those letters, they are compound letters. They have two components we have to connect by using a dash. We will take a look how it works in Russian. We start with letter U. This is U. This is a dive tongue. You remember you learn in your Russian classes. So there are dive tongues like yo. We use it before. And this is U. Short Y and then U. U. So how to write this letter? Before we start, you remember, I always draw two horizontal lines. So this is our header and baseline. And then I indicate the main slant angle. So those lines will help us to keep our letters in one row and keep this angle. So how to write U? I mean, this is not difficult at all. Only what you need to do, you first you draw the downstroke, but small one between two lines, and then you have to connect this downstroke to the oval. So we use a connector and we drive an oval. That's it. Yeah, not difficult at all. Obviously, sometimes you have to would, you would have to use a connector because you have to connect your U to the next following letter. So just practice with this. Look, down, dash, oval, down stroke, dash, oval. So pause my video. I know this is absolutely new letter for you, so you have really little practice. Uh, write it, I don't know, 10, 15 times and repeat, say loudly, you, yeah, you, you, one sound. No? Two sounds, but put together, you. When you finish, go back to my video. So the word I picked for practicing with you, it's a toy, children toy. We call it spinning top toy. Uh, believe me, when I was a child, I had one of this uh, like teen toy, and I really had fun with this toy. I, I can remember till now. Anyway, so how do we write this Yula? We say it Yula, Yula. We start with U. No? And then we connect L. If you want, you can use a connector, or I just connect L to my oval, like that. And then I finish with oval for R, and I finish with a uh, right-sided hook. Eula. Eula. So please pause my video and practice with this word. So the letters are pretty much new for you. U, L. So that's why practice. Keep all letters between two horizontal lines and um, kind of try to keep the angle. Okay? So when you finish, go back to my video. Next word I picked is pretty long word, so it's really demanding and you would have to use a lot of time to practice with this. I picked the word rumka, rumka. So, and this is the rumka, this is very little small glass for vodka, shot, vodka shot. In Russian language, there are actually two different words we can use for this vodka shot, rumka and stopka. And believe me, sometimes even Russians, they don't know which word they need to use when they have this item, rumka or vodka. And I give you a hint, rumka will always have a leg. So, Let's try to write this word. We start with Russian R. R is from lesson four. This is R. Now we have to use U. We have to connect U to R. Vertical stroke, dash, oval. Next, I connect my M. Next, I write K. And I finish with a rumka. Very difficult word. Yeah. Keep in mind the first letter is r, Russian r, rumka. I strongly recommend you guys pause my video and write at least 10, 15 times this word. Try to increase your speed. Always when you finish the word, repeat loudly rumka. Okay. Try to write smoothly. Try not to detach the uh, tip of your pen or pencil from paper. Try to write in one long but quick and smooth uh, move. 
And when you really practice, when you think you can write this word very nicely and very quick, then go back to my video and click on watch again. Next letter is compound letter N. So this is Russian N. You don't know this letter, you have to practice. But it's very easy to write. Look, what I need to do first, I write the downstroke, the small one, between two lines. And then what I need, I need a connector. They connect it to the right-sided hook. We use it many, many times before. For example, in letter R. So this is my N. So once again, one, two, three. From top to bottom, then horizontal dash, then the hook. So please practice. Yeah, pause my video and write many times this letter. Keep in mind this is N, letter N, N. Okay, good? And then go back to my video. So the word I picked to practice with N is NOS. NOS means nose. N, NOS. So we start with N, like that. Then I connect oval for O. No? Then I have to use my connector, like that. And then I finish with the S, NOS. Okay, pause my video and write it a couple of times. Pronounce loudly, NOS. So keep in mind, this is NOS, NOS. Okay, when you finish, go back to my video. We have one more word to practice with. So the last word I picked is word Sloan. Sloan means elephant. I would like to use you to practice with N at the end of the word. So we start with S. This is our S. Then I connect letter L. So if you want to review letter L, we practice with letter L in my second lesson. L. Then I connect oval for O. o. And then I have to use a connector. Yeah? And I finish with N. Slon, elephant, slon. So now your turn. Please practice with this word. Keep all your letters with, uh, between two horizontal lines and kind of keep the, the angle as well. So the main slant angle. When you practice a lot, when you think you can write this word very smoothly and very quick, then you may go to my next lesson. Okay, goodbye.